Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Opria's Open Mic. The um, The. Hey, I'm Erin Opria. We got my husband. Sean Opria. Hey, everybody. And then we have, again, our special guest with Dr. Ethan Kellen. He is amazing. Last time we had him on, we dove a lot into, like, the peptides, and we took basically sick care versus true health care. Right. All that kind of fun stuff. NADs, which is a huge topic right now. Yep. I'm taking them. Sean just started taking them. I started taking them, too. Couple, it's been about a month now? Three weeks, a month? Oh, at least, a- yeah, a month, yeah. Actually, and wow, that went quick. It did. Yeah. Um, and you guys asked, where do we get them? We get them through Dr. Kellum is where we get the NADs. In your institute. We had we had learned that the last time. Yeah. Where's your institute again? Well, so there's the Kellum Stem Cell Institute. Yes. Which is this, our stem cells, but we have a Bethesda wellness institute is where we do the nad stuff so okay. a little bit sweet different. yeah all right so if you guys want a link to get those you can dm me i'll send you one um but today i want to talk more about let's start with the nads and then we'll dive into stem cells which i've done with you and mm-hmm. prp i've done mm-hmm. prp so many times so here we go nads what is the purpose of nads what actually what is don't not we don't need to know the scientist's yeah. name because nobody really understands that word <laughs> anyways right, yeah. but why would anyone take NADs? So NAD, why anyone would take that if you're looking to, one, have more energy, right, to feel better, to do what you want to do. But NAD is, I mean, the cell is the, is the basis of everything that happens, right? If the cell is healthier or the cell has more energy, then we do better. So would you call NADs a cellular health thing? Yeah, oh, 100%. That's what it is. Yeah. And is it a, an immediate thing? So I'm about a month in. I started taking them twice a week. Roughly like Monday or Tuesday, and roughly Friday or Saturday. So we kind of spread them out. Yeah. You don't want to like. So I I take I we had talked. If you go back on those episodes, I talked about wanting to take the pill, something mm-hmm. pretty pretty low key. Right. And I was encouraged not to by you. Yeah. And and tell me and again others. why why well mainly my guy uh, why why did you tell me not to take so, the pill? You know the, the pill has to pass through several different places to get where it needs to go, right? So digestion, right? So you have a pass there, and then you have other organs that it may have to pass through to get to where, you know, to get into where you want it to be. So when you take it either IV or uh, take it um, intramuscular, that gets okay. right into the system. I take it intramuscular. Yep. Which is just an injection. We just just, we just yeah. shoot it into our leg. I do I one of these. And- <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. By the way, <laughs> not do that. Uh, I, I, to be said about that. that, that I tell you what, man, that thing kicks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I take it in, into my thigh. Mm-hmm. Hope I'm doing that right. Exactly. I kind of I take a big pinch of my thigh, and not mm-hmm. much, because I'm like about half a percent body fat. Yeah. And then um, I take I take a, <laughs> I take a small syringe mm-hmm. of 50 units, whatever unit. Ooh, I don't yeah. know what the unit is. So. Uh, so a unit, and then I slowly put it in. Yeah, then this is perfect. So a, if you look at one cc or one mil, sometimes it's called. So you're taking a half of that, half a mil. So okay. Not 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 a ton, but yeah, and it doesn't take a lot. Half a milli. But when half I take it, <laughs> when I take it, I have this feeling like my whole body just goes, like you need to sit down for a second. Mm-hmm. It, I don't feel bad at all. I don't get sick. I don't get anything. It's I kind of really like that feeling. It's like everything just relaxes, and yeah. then it reboots. Do you really? Anything. Is that how it is? You relax. And my whole body goes, Shh. but then I hear people that do the IV. Like, oh, I've wow. heard horror stories of the IV. I feel like they're starting to You can do it say, right, right? It's not so, all horror stories. All right, so first, when I do yeah. mine, it only lasts for, like, that feeling lasts for, like, five minutes, and then maybe 10 minutes, and it goes away, and then... I have, that's huge. I always make sure I run on the day I do NADs. Oh, yeah. Because it definitely is going to help increase the power. I feel well, yeah. I, it, it, To me, I don't feel like that. So I'll, maybe under five minutes later, I feel like I've had a cup of coffee, mm-hmm. but it doesn't yeah. last like a cup of coffee. It's kind of like you. Like it, it, it hits you, but then it goes away pretty quickly. Uh-huh. And it hits me, and it's not like I'm, I'm flying off the handle or anything, but I definitely... I definitely feel a bit of energy. And then that also goes away pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. As it just kind of just empties into the system. Yeah, right. So in in one of these things, you want to build it into your system that helps too. And you also want to continue to give the building blocks so it can continue to do what it, you know. Okay, so it is a long-term thing. Even though both of us feel some sort of very short-term, very kind of immediate effect, Mm -hmm. it's very much a long-term thing. Yes. So the full benefit is 
months, years, whatever. It's just consistently. Basically, your body produces NADs until a certain point, right? Yeah. So as we get older, we it lessens the amount that's made. And so in that, when we talk about the science of it, in that cell, the mitochondria, which is the powerhouse, NAD, it acts, it acts like, um, it's kind of like water, you know, you dam up water, right? And so it, there's this pathway. And when you have NAD, now you, you spit out more at the end, ATP, which is the energy of the cell. So are your cells drinking the NAD for energy? No, they're they're using it in their um, in their power cycle. So it's like putting gas in a in a car, right? Your car is not going to run, or it's not going to have any power if you don't put gas in it. And so that substance that you need for your cell to work well is that NAD. You okay. put the NAD in there, and now it it has it has the energy. To so do it's things. it's required of your cell to have this. It is, yeah. But we stop producing it. We we start to decrease the amount of production of it, and that's okay. why we age. That's why we age. Oh, but, okay. So, okay, so yeah. if that's the case, and you take NADs regular, does that mean that it can help with weight loss? Can it help with wrinkles on the skin? Can it help with the texture of your skin? Can it help with your hair? What is everything? Everything that you've mentioned, right? Everything that we normally see with aging, which we say is normal, which which to some degree it is. You can decrease with having more energy and, and power. Yeah. Does it reverse or does it slow down? Um, it is going to, um, to some degree, it, it looks like it reverses it, right? Um, you're gonna be, you're gonna be younger, um, but it definitely slows it down. So you're telling okay. me my wrinkles okay. can go away just you're, by taking in ADs? Y- y- yes. So. Ideally, what <sighs> age would you start taking it? So I'd probably say ideally you would probably start taking in like mid thirties. Okay. I was a little late to the party. Yeah. It and, wasn't really and a was thing. Too. And is yeah. there a point where you probably shouldn't take it? No. Really? So yeah. let's 65, take it. Take sure. It. 75, take it. Yeah. Because okay. as we, and I mean, you guys see it every day, you go, gosh, we're living longer because some of us are eating better and exercising more and doing those things. And so it just helps us to, to be better. But not only to live longer, but to have a good life living longer. Yeah, the qu- Feel quality. better, quality of yeah. life better. And I, and I have a funny story about taking NAD IV. I want to hear it. Be, so, because I'm hearing, I've heard some crazy stories. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I also want to know, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I also want to know if they used to say you need to load with that. There's a, um, yes, you want to kind of take a, a dose and then increase it. So, um, so I, I, if I'm prescribing these things, I, I do these things because I believe in them. And uh, there was one day in clinic, and um, it's like I've got 30 minutes for lunch, and I'm just like, just put it in. <laughs> just put it just. in. It, just so you guys know, it's supposed to be a long, it's supposed to take like two and a half, three are, hours. Are you talking about? No, IV. Okay. The so, IV. Okay, so, I, so there's so the three different time, ways. Yeah. There's an IV, which I assume is uh, uh, more aggressive. And in, there's more what aggressive. I do, which is uh, a small half a milli Inject, yeah. injection. Mm-hmm. And then there's a tablet, which is Oral. much less. But when yeah. you do okay, the so IV, you did an IV, it's yeah. supposed Sorry. to take two and a half, three hours. Yes. Oh, and you, what did you oh, do? Oh, you have an ID, I, IV for so, two and a half hours? You're supposed yes. to have, yes, for, okay. for two, two and a half, three hours. Um, I had it for 30, 30 minutes, minutes. And I felt like I was, like, it was like, I am dying. This is it. It's, <laughs> this it's, is it? Heart attack, my left arm, <laughs> it's over. Um, luckily, once it's, once, it stopped. The infusion stopped. I got better. But literally, I mean, sweating, all the things. It's like I'm having a heart attack. This was a bad idea. But that's what you get from doing it intravenously. That's not great. So <laughs> why why would oh, – I have clients that have done that, and they've all said that they don't really feel any results when they do that. But I feel good when I do mine. They're like, how do you feel good when you do yours with the less amount? And I feel terrible when I do mine with the more amount. I feel really good on it. I've never felt bad one time. No, never. The first time I did it, I was like, oh, this is a weird feeling. I had to sit down because I've never yeah. felt that way. And I was like, what is this? And then I was like, oh, I kind of like that feeling. It's just like everybody goes, yeah. like it. Everybody responds a little bit different. Yeah. That um, in, I don't remember you saying that. Yeah, this is way okay. different than mine. Yeah. Everybody's about different. Yeah, everybody, everybody's a little bit different. And, and, but sometimes there's this, you know, we kind of fall in the, in the same category. You're probably a little bit of an outlier. Because everybody would probably, you know, would feel a little bit different. Huh. Aaron's that. weird, huh? <laughs> Odd. <laughs> Surprising. Say it, Dr. Go. I know you want to. I know you want different. to. Ah, oh, well. So, aggressive. Get aggressive. So are you saying now, if you're doing the injection, I obviously didn't do a loading phase because I just do the 50 units two mm-hmm. times a week. Yeah. That's not considered a loading phase, right? You're loading. Is it bad that I didn't do the IV first to load? 
Uh, no, no, no. I think I think you're gonna. It's gonna as you take it, you're going to get to a good place with it. And oh, plus, you you expect us to take more? Well, just continue down. The just road. continue. You don't do yeah. bigger. It's oh, not, not like I'm gonna do a bigger, oh, bigger that, dose. Okay, that's what I was wondering. No, it's just like 60, kind of, 70, 80 units. Yeah, no, okay, you're okay, gonna okay, do. You're sorry. gonna do. You're just gonna keep doing that same dose. Okay. And there's not a point that you say, okay, after a year, you're done. No, mm, right? This mm. is like a longevity. Yeah, it's, it's as long as you want to take do your it. vitamins. Like you take your vitamins, take your you take them forever. Yeah. Would you have a range for our listeners of what it would cost people per month, maybe um, per week, per for dose, the injection. Per, for the injection um, that we do? I sh- I should. I don't know that in my head because okay. you don't deal with the money yeah, side of it. Do, yeah, that's why he's got people. <laughs> I get um, it. Yeah, I don't. I'd be happy to tell, but I don't. I don't know what it is. Okay. So I'm that's the first remember. conspiracy that we've run into. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> All right. Dr. Kellum seems to be part of the ruling minority, the Illuminati, if you will. I can't tell you. Um, no, you're just going to have to call and trust me. Yeah. I don't know because I, when I get hit through him, I also get the BPC-157 too, which... But as, and as I think about it, it it's it's around Come probably four hundred. Yeah. yeah, it's in the hundreds. I, I don't know. I, and I it lasts completely believe, by the way, that he has months, people four that weeks, does maybe. This for. Yeah, four to six weeks. Yeah, somewhere in there. Some people okay. only do one injection, right? A week. They may do one a week. I recommend doing two. But yeah, some people will, sure. and that maybe especially as you go along, you may get to the point you say, "Hey, I'm just going to do one a week." So if if we did no something, way, I love you, it. you said about. Maybe plus or minus some, about 400 a month. Did yeah. I hear that right? Mm-hmm. If you're doing two injections a week. Yeah. Okay. And, um, okay, like, what would be some, if you could, and it's a random question, like some people are like, okay, I don't know how to fit that in. Love to start taking NADs. Yeah. Don't know how to fit $400 a month. What would be some other things that people would might be doing to stay young, to try and stay healthy, that they might switch that kind of money into an NAD? Like move their money. Like some of the things that you're like, okay, this is good, but I feel like NEDs would do you better in the long run. Like less face serum. <laughs> yeah. So I would, so one of the big ones I would say, well, like Botox or oh, yeah? things like really? that. Yeah. Wait, are you telling me on some point in my life, I'm not going to be going to get Botox? You definitely could lessen the need for it. That's amazing. I do a collagen injection underneath my skin. Mm-hmm. Have you seen those? Um, I've not seen those. But it's it actually sounds, really sounds, cool. Sounds interesting. I, I wish I knew the names, but my my face girl's all about them. It's it's fantastic. So after after a time, you could do less Botox. Yeah. You believe that? Believe Have you that. seen it? Do you believe it? Like, well, I you know over overall, I think that when you, once again when your when your cells have power. They're able to do the things they're supposed to, so they get rid of toxins that cause yeah. issues and all those things. So, it's yeah, incredible. I don't, I don't That's believe amazing. That. Yeah, and Botox is expensive. That'd it be is. an easy all, switch. All yeah. face stuff is yeah. expensive. But it, uh, so um, we do see the the those results kind of immediately as far as like the day, like you run on the day you take them. Always, um, mm-hmm. always. And you, I you start. You run. told me like don't take it too late in the day, kind of thing. Like, yeah. It'll and, and and so I just have taken. I've just taken your word for it. Um, as far as those long term effects. You're hoping on a regular basis, if you're consistent, you'll, you might not see it because it's, it's a slow process, slow process, but you're hoping to see results in, say, a year's worth of consistency? Oh, for sure. But I mean, you're going to feel the effects uh, in a month of, or you know, two weeks, four weeks of like, hey, I feel better in, the, in those things. So that happens. But as far as, you know, the way you look, yeah, that's going to take a little bit. Okay. Little, little so that makes sense, right? Because yeah. I'm waiting for me to look prettier, <laughs> but I'm already at me like too. such a high level <laughs> of... Of, you know, like, you know, but manhood. Okay. Like, like, you know, that, that short-term it effect, I, I, I can't tell because I was already great yeah, before. Exactly. But you okay. can't take it and think that you're just going to be an Energizer bunny because that's not the way it works. When I took it, I was like, wow, okay, I feel I feel really good today. Mm-hmm. But I've had people take it, and they say they don't feel anything. Yeah. So I think everybody reacts differently. I'm it, sure it depends on your size of your body, too. Yeah, everybody reacts differently. And you still have to do those those core things, right? Yeah. Exercise. Do well, you believe where well. you source your NADs from is a better source than other people might be getting? And that's maybe why they, they have these uh, different yeah. results. I mean, there's definitely that possibility, right? And, and you have to always uh, consider the source of anything and everything. Um, everything is not created the same. So therefore... They have um, to go to you. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm just saying. There, there's I'm just leaning ones, in. But I, I know Cal. that you're yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. I just, we, we take that stuff very seriously, right? We yeah. want to make sure that we would give it, you know, if we would take it for ourselves, we want it to yeah. work. And so that's what we give to Listen, everybody. all you have to do is convince Aaron, and then I just go along. <laughs> the amount we play of times. follow leader. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, Aaron? And she goes, yeah. And okay. 
Yeah. That's about it. I, I but, love but it. You get, but you guys research and you. Oh, and that yeah. Works, I don't, is, I don't research He doesn't. Anything. I research well, a You lot. think so highly of me. I like you. <laughs> and when I say. I don't research, you, I research I say you, a damn thing. You He's guys, just putting it together. Yeah. I, I researched it. Aaron. <laughs> and that's all. And that's all right? you need to do. Yeah, that's all you it's need. It's secondary to do. research, but yeah. it's gone. It's worked well for me. Yeah, but no, I I study all the peptides. That, like I have mm-hmm. a book about them. I like to lo- listen to podcasts about them. I've learned so much, and I'm very intrigued by so many of them. Yeah, I am. Is there an is there a new pet another peptide that you're like you know what this this <laughs> is like give me more peptides? No, I one that maybe somebody doesn't know about. Maybe I don't know. So about like when like, we're talking about a- aging. Um, there's one called uh, GHKCU. Has can I take that? In it. No. You, you can. <laughs> can you order that for me tonight? Yeah. I got it. Yeah. I'll give you credit cards on file. Don't worry. <laughs> Stop. So, 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 so the, I mean, that's one for, great for skin and aging and those things. I mean, really? Yeah. What is that? Um, so, it's a copper peptide, and it, once again, helps the cell to age. To, it can help it to to slow down the aging, but also to de-age as well. So too. reverse aging, yeah. then. It's and you can do that with the NADs. There's no. Yes, you can. Yeah. And if you're taking BPC, it doesn't matter either. Doesn't matter either. A lot and of now some of these things you wouldn't put in the same syringe. I wouldn't put anything it. in the same yeah, syringe. Yeah, I would, would you? not do that. No. Um, so it's good for skin. Take, yeah, very good for skin. skin good for skin. Uh, good for see, air. Where would you inject? A long that one? time ago, against my will, somebody took my foreskin. I'm trying to get it back. Will this help? <laughs> Um, Probably no, not. No, it's not going to grow. No, it, <laughs> it was stolen from me, and I've been pissed for a while now. Over. Yeah. yeah. No. All right. No. Fine, no. So where would you inject that one? Same place? Same place. Uh, top of the thigh works really well, and then abdomen works well. Also, you can, like do the deltoid if you wanted to. Um, I haven't done any up there. No. I, haven't, mm-hmm. I don't do them in the abs. I do them just right there. Like just get, yeah, you just kind of side there. Oh, right. Just right here? <laughs> yeah. But then you might end up with little polka dots. You could. And also, the other thing, I've seen this in patients... It, as far as being an orthopedic surgeon, sometimes when people get injections, if they're if they're slender, they can get in that subacromial space, and that's always a bad deal. Oh, that well, why would hurts. anybody choose? that? I'm not going to do no. that. No, yeah. it's not worth not worth that one to me. So you, you just need you need thigh. muscle and well away from joints and bone. Yeah, some like BBC though, you would inject that. In, I in inject that right here yeah. in my knee. You I haven't seen for, you do that yet. BBC. I do it, BBC I do it right there. Yeah. Is that right for yeah, my knee? Yeah, that's where I inject my pain. That's where you you want to put it close. So BPC, what would you explain BPC? It's BPC one five seven. Yeah, it's a like people call it the Wolverine peptide, um, and it actually was. Um, this, I want to know more it, about it's, Wolverine. It's made in the in the gut, um, naturally occurring. But as we get older, we we lessen that. And so um, it's one of those things if you have Crohn's disease or anything like that. But it's really good for ligaments, really good for tendon, muscle muscle injuries, things of that nature. Injuries. Yeah. So I have heard about gut disease for gut health, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very good for But if you Crohn's put it, if I inject it in my knees, it's still going to help my gut, too? It will. That's the only one that I would say potentially, because there is an oral form of it, that I would say an oral form in that case. So do, do inject oh, so it in the of knee and through your gut take kinda. it through the gut, take an oral form yeah. too. Yeah, if you're if you're trying to get gut things. So it but, helps with chromes, and that's one that you would take an oral one. Yeah, it is a Leaky band gut one. things like that. Is there anyone that shouldn't take BPC one five seven? You're like, well, if you mm, have this, I probably wouldn't recommend it. No, that's a that's an overall a, very good one. A lot people. of professional athletes have. Maybe not taking it right now because it did get Yeah, bad, well, the, the rules change, right? Yeah, it was fine for a while. Till January, I, right? Y- Just yes. recently. Um, so some of those, yeah, some of them are very safe. Some of them are, are, are um, legal. Some of them are not for those guys. In fact, I don't for know. For sports. For not, sports. Not for, for professional athletes. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, yeah, for for the rest of us. Yeah. That, um, I don't know if you guys saw Tristan Thompson who plays for the Cavs. There was a, well, I know the name. another another peptide. Um, the one that is going to increase growth hormone. Um, he he was he was, he was found easy. out for that. It 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 works works well. It does work. Well. Yeah, but and it's, it's for healing. Is it like growth hormone is for it's like steroid. anything? It's you know it's gonna what what some of those um, growth hormone producing peptides are just going to cause because once again as we get about twenty five we start our growth hormone amount plummets. And guys and girls. Guys and girls. And growth hormone is one of those things that is just so good for everything. Looking younger, feeling better. Anytime mm-hmm. growth hormone's around, we just do way better. Does it make you more muscular? Uh, it it does, but it's not going to it's not going to give you a super physiological amount, right? Like if you were doing it like anabolic steroids, 
you're going to get this crazy amount that, that that gives you muscles, right? Right. But using this, it's going to it it sets your body up to make what you were would make if you were younger. So it's not going to be like this crazy amount that's in there. So this these all these peptides and mm-hmm. I, and I had heard the NADs aren't necessarily peptides, but they're lumped in with them. Is that even they, true? They, yeah. So they're not necessarily. Um, yes, they're not peptides. Um, they're but they're lumped in with them. A peptide, insulin, most people don't know this, but insulin is a peptide. I didn't know that. Yeah. And so insulin is one of the most used peptides in the longest, you know, one that's been out there. Basically, they, they are assistance in helping your body run correctly. Exactly. So if you think about insulin, and, and once again, we all know about that, right? Yeah. And what insulin does is saying, okay, your body doesn't have insulin, right? Or it has a lesser amount of it. And so we're going to give that to a person and now their cells... Um, that insulin binds to their cells, and now we can pull glucose into the cell, right? Mm. And now the cell works properly. And so all the other peptides are just the same way. You've taken a big protein, you've chopped it up, got the good part of it, the amino acids, and now you have a, and as long as it's not more than like 40 amino acids, it's called a peptide, but you have the business end of that peptide, and that's what works on the cell. So interesting. I could sit here and pick your brain about it. So a lot of you guys don't know, know? um, Eth- Dr. Kellum, Ethan is also his name. He um, he is a pretty amazing doctor. He he did my stem cells, he did my PRP, but he also works with the Titans. You work with Ten- Tennessee Titans is an NFL team. You do their stem cell and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. You also work with some Olympic team and the USA Olympic team, yep. right? Yeah, basketball. Yep. So I saw it. I was like, "What? Go, no. Ethan, go!" No. I was so excited for you. Um, but. Let's dive into stem cells. We could talk about PRP, or we could talk about these peptides forever. And I actually want to learn more about the one you just said. I don't know yeah. if I would be a candidate for that or not, or if it'd be like, oh, you're going to get super muscular. I'd be like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll talk about it for sure. Uh, yeah, I am interested, but I definitely don't want to put on any size. Mm-hmm. Actually, I have one quick question. What, do, <laughs> what are your thoughts on creatine for women? Wait, before we move on. I want to proudly thank our sponsor. We'll be right back. Okay, ladies, you've been hearing me talk about my libido or more accurately, my lack of libido. Now, let me tell you about what helps me get it back. Addy or Flavanserin. Addy is FDA approved and has been clinically proven to increase sexual desire in certain premenopausal women who have been bothered by low libido. I started to lose my libido in my 30s and it feels so good to have my drive back. Mm. So if you feel like you've lost your desire, you want to get it back, stop falling for the snake oils and ask your doctor about Addy today or go to Addy.com. That is A-D-D-Y-I dot com. And now I get to do some house cleaning. I wanted to read something like this as fast as I can forever. Here we go. Addy is for premenopausal women with acquired generalized hypoactive sexual desire disorder, HSDD, who have not had problems with low sexual desire in the past and who have low sexual desire no matter the type of sexual activity, the situation, or the sexual partner. The low sexual desire is troubling to them and is not due to a medical or mental health problem, problems in the relationship, or medicine or other drug use. Addy is not for use in men or to enhance sexual performance. Your risk of severe low blood pressure and fainting is increased if you drink one to two standard alcoholic drinks close in time to your Addy dose. Wait at least two hours hours after drinking before taking Addy at bedtime. Your risk of severe low blood pressure and fainting is also increased if you take certain prescription, over-the-counter, or herbal medications, or have liver problems. Low blood pressure and fainting can happen when you take Addy, even if you don't drink alcohol or take other medications. Do not take it if you are allergic to any of the ingredients in Addy. Allergic reactions may include hives, itching, or trouble breathing. Sleepiness, sometimes serious, can occur. Common side effects include dizziness, nausea, tiredness, difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep in dry mouth. See full PI and medication guide, including boxed warning at addy.com slash P-I, or call 844-PINK-PILL. Ask your doctor about Addy today or go to Addy.com. That is A-D-D-Y-I dot com, baby. And we're back. Thank you, Addy, A-D-D-Y-I dot com. Uh, I think it's good. Okay. I, I think maybe not the, the dose that a guy would take, but good. I think it's, I'm glad I think you it's said good. That. Okay, so five is... Is it five grams, five yeah, milligrams, five? Really. I don't know. It's five, F a five, five, whatever yeah. is what it is, is a serving. When I took it, I know everything says it's great for your brain. It's great for menopause. It's great for all these things. But it made me the puffiest and the biggest I had ever been. So it does do that for sure. And that's why, and even if for a guy taking it, you want to say who's trying to 
get cut. So you're you're you know you're you're sacrificing something like to get size, um, and so you, 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 there's a balance with it. So it took all definition away from me. Yeah, is that true? Yeah, yes, and it will do that. And you didn't but, take too much. I no, really I tried all different times types of it. And, yeah, because that cell is now gonna gonna retain that retains water, water right? Too, right, and so but then you're normally stronger when that happens. But so you get bigger and muscular, but it's hidden because you're puffier. Right. Yeah. So there's a there's a catch twenty. So what it. is the reason to take it? Because you can get creatine through steak and meat and. You can just it, it, extra if you any if you want to get this that strength the stronger that, that I've ever been I was I was taking that but I was I was definitely puffy and it doesn't necessarily like my create, face everything it, mm-hmm. it doesn't create muscle you have to create the muscle it retains the muscle better is that correct it so right so once again it gets to that cellular level so now the cell has everything that it needs to do what it's supposed to do so now your muscles work better okay because mm-hmm. if you took creatine and just sat on the couch yeah you're not it's not gonna do yeah anything. okay okay okay. Okay, so I'm not going to take creatine because I hated what it did for my body. Mm-hmm. A lot of women, a lot of men love it. For me personally, I hated the way I felt, looked. I could, You know when you look down, you can see your cheeks? That's yeah. how I felt on mm-hmm. that. I was like, I hate this feeling. Is there some downfall? Even though I do lots of strength thing, training, I feel like I'm pretty good strength-wise. Is there a downfall for me not taking it, even though I eat red meat? No? no. Yeah. Okay, that's good to hear. Even though my brain... Even the number one brain food is what eggs right now. That's what they're saying. Yeah, a lot of people like eggs. Eggs are my favorite. Mm-hmm. But if but they're saying you need creatine for your brain, I'm like, do I really? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Um, yeah, I, I would. I, I don't think you're missing out if you're not taking it. Okay, that's good to hear. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about stem cells. All right. So I had an injury where my heel pad had separated. Uh-huh. I had plantar fasciitis. I had an impinged nerve. And Jeez. what else did – all those things, I all my left heel. Nerve. And is the most excruciating pain. I've had um, mountains of injuries, mm-hmm. the worst pain I've ever had in my life. So we chose – well, you chose. I didn't choose. <laughs> <laughs> On the stem cell we for me together. to do <laughs> my own fat. Right. Yeah. What is the reason that we chose – I love that. I love that you said that because when people say stem cells, they often think embryonic. They think right. they think that it's coming from some random person. That it's coming from babies, even people that don't know too much. But yeah. it, those stem cells came from Aaron, correct? Either even that day I'm, or maybe a day it, before. It was that day right. for that me. Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But even though I'm older, you chose to do mine. I was what probably forty ish at that yeah. point, forty one, forty two. Yeah. And what was the reason? Yeah. There's a, so there's a story between that because people will go, oh, gosh. Don't I need something younger? It's like, well, you you can get something younger from someone else, but you run the risk of having what they call graft versus host. If it's not yours, rejection. Then your, your body will will reject it. Versus if it is yours, mm-hmm. it you know it's yours, and there's less rejection. And people will you know they they'll say all the time about well, younger versus older. And I always like to use this analogy. Do you want to be in the cage with an old line or a new line or or, or, or young line? And the answer to that is, I don't want to be in a cage with either one of them because both of them will get you, right? <laughs> and so your stem cells, even being older, still work, and they still work well. Okay. Yeah. That's good to hear. Okay. Why will insurance not cover stem cells? Um, that's a— that's a Million-dollar question. We a, all that, know the yeah. answer to that one. Yeah. But. It, 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 so, in, so you have to follow the money, right? And who has, there you go. And who has <laughs> the money. Because, um, and, I'll, and I'll tell you about some self-insured companies— so some self-insured companies will say, instead of paying $70,000 for that total knee, um, we're going to pay way less than that for a stem cell injection in the knee that will do well and get people back to work quickly. And normally what hap- has happened is that there's someone in that company that's had a procedure like that, and they're like, well, why don't we cover it? One of the higher-ups. One of the higher-ups. And then they say, mm-hmm. well, we're going to put this on our, you know, because they can direct where their dollars are spent. They can say we're going to put this, you know, on our um, formulary for our, for our, our workers to have. Um, but because it's a, it, it becomes a billion dollar question really quickly. And people that make implants, and now I'm an orthopedic surgeon, so I can I can talk about orthopedic surgeons right. and, and things like that. But people that make implants, or even you, even if you you, did, you take a, a drug like naproxen, billions of dollars over the counter, doesn't cost us very much, but but something like this would disrupt that completely. And so those guys have all the money, and they say, you know what, the the people that the are higher ups, l- lawmakers, and they say, I don't think you should. Cut. There's no, there's no research no sh- on that. Yeah. There's, 
blah, blah, blah. And stem cells can <clears throat> really, so I did on my heel, and I will say it 100%, without a doubt, fixed it, fixed my plantar, fixed my heel pad separation, fixed the impinged nerve, also the PRP. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a chance that it could not work. Right. But it it was the most painful thing, <laughs> basically because it was my heel, I think. The you handle was pain in my better heel. than the foot anybody. Is the foot's, foot is foot's tough. Foot, shoulder's tough. Everything else is fine. Fairly, you know, it's yeah. Doable. It, the heel was excruciating. Hayden did it. You did Hayden's. He mm-hmm. Hayden is my son. He did it on his hamstring. Fix that. Never had another problem. He no. had three hamstring tears, and then we're like, it's time for stem cell. Um, PRP. So PRP, platelet rich plasma, comes from your blood. So the blood is made up of liquids and solids. The liquid is um, the plasma, and the solids are going to be three main things. White blood cells, which fight infection. Red blood cells, which are carry your oxygen, right? And then you have platelets. We mostly know platelets for clotting, right? If you right. have low, poly, uh, low platelets and you cut yourself, you bleed. Um, and so you're like, yeah, keep your platelets up. <laughs> well, the reason that platelets, well, why things heal with platelets is because it has all the growth factors in there. And so when we... Mm-hmm. When we concentrate that platelet-rich plasma, we get a lot of the liquid out of there, and we just keep a lot of those platelets. Yeah, because they get. take your they take your blood, mm-hmm. they spin it, and right. then it ends up like this little tube, and then yeah, and then that's what they inject, right. and inject in. Because those red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets all weigh differently, and so when you spin it, it separates based on weight. Oh. And you had stem cells and PRP, or are those the same thing? No, uh, I had are, both. Yeah, those okay. are different. Okay. So stem cells are, are, you know, they're, they're, they're the big dogs. They're the ones that, you know, they're. I, I think everybody should have stem cells. It's when like the consider. king. Yeah, it's it's the one. It's the go-to. And so how did they get the stem cells from you? So I did liposuction kind of right? all over. So oh, that that's, morning, that's what that yeah. was. Yeah. So okay. I, that morning, that was stem cells. I went to um, my. Plas- well, a plastic surgeon. He's not my plastic. I don't do a lot of plastic surgery, but <laughs> since he did my boobs, it does sound real bad. But he he liposuctioned mm-hmm. and then got the fat to you. He got so, half a pound, and they so lipoed. It's very little. Half a pound sounds a lot, but they need to liposuction to get what they need for the for the um, stem cells. Right. And Aaron didn't do it. Extra just to lipo, <laughs> no. and yeah. they didn't really have anywhere to and, lipo. You are a very slender woman, and that's why we had a plastic surgeon involved. Because usually he would do yeah. it. But oh, because, really? Yeah, because like, like where are you gonna, where are you going to get that from? I don't know. <laughs> right. And if you don't do it right when someone's small, you're going to leave them ripply, right. and and yeah. so that's why we had a plastic surgeon do mine. And to get half a pound, we did. And I was bigger for almost almost a year afterwards. I was bigger from the lipo. Isn't that mm-hmm. weird? Yeah. It's like you retain or something. It was, it was it injects. I was bit, puffy. Yeah. A little bit. But um, like my inner thighs, I was awake for it. And they're like, shh, shh. and it was yeah. cool. I was video. I was like, wow, that's pretty <laughs> neat. And then when they did my back, my lower back, I held a mirror. Sean was actually video. I have it all on video. Actually, here, you guys want me to insert the video here? Here you go. You guys can watch it. <laughs> You could. I had a mirror where I could watch while he was doing it with my back. It was mm-hmm. actually pretty cool. I stayed awake for it. I thought most people went to sleep when they got lipoed, but yeah, no. It's a, I call it a mini liposuction. I normally take it from the back of the flanks. People do really well with it, um, and it's super easy to do. But but they're awake. We give you a little thinner, get a little volume just to help relax you. We numb that area up super well, but people do well. Where did Hayden take his from? Uh, if I can remember, you pretty, drilled it. Yeah, there's. A, uh, yeah, I was yeah. like, oh my oh, god, that's so, right. You took right. it from his bones. Yeah, so I took it from the back of his pelvis, which you know, it, there's a little more pain with that, but not much. Once again, still very, very doable. Like a three out of ten versus. I, a I lipo. had heard, and I apologize, mm. that Hayden was a dense. Yeah, he. Yeah. Was, I had Retrieval. to work. Yeah, you had said you had to work for that one. I think if you were telling me you were sweating <laughs> and you were probably, yeah, probably. you probably would have gotten was, a different yeah. drill or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's what you, what you said. Yeah. You would have warmed up a little so bit. So on professional athletes, I will use like on my guys that come in just because you know they're so it's just so so dense, and I'll use a drill with them. Uh, but most folks it didn't have to do that. And so you just had a hand. Yeah, like you were literally. And, like you're, and you said a, I would have if I would have known I would have used a drill on him. Yeah, but he basically was a. I mean, he was playing semi-pro at the time, but yeah. And so those things, so mm. so you can get stem cells from a couple of places, um, bone marrow being one, and that that has a type of stem cell in there called a, a hemopoietic. 
comes from blood. The other is from adipose or fat tissue, which is called the mesenchymal or that you'll see. Um, and, uh, and quite honestly, I use both of them a, a lot. Your case was a little bit different because your heel pad had atrophied, gotten smaller. And so huh. I wanted to put that substrate, I wanted to put that fat in there. You put fat in there and stem cell, right? Yeah. Well, the stem cells are in the fat. So, you, oh, okay. So, you, so it wasn't a separate thing. Yeah. So it was, it was all together. Okay. So but, you needed more volume, basically. Right. Needed volume. But now we do have the ability to separate the, the stem cells. That's from, what I thought. From yeah. the fat and, and use that. That, interestingly enough, has 2,500 times more stem cells in it per, like, ounce or whatever See, it is. Fat versus, is good. This versus, is why, versus bone marrow. This is why I'm fatter than you, so that if you need stem <laughs> cells, that's, that's he tells I'm, your, I'm your guy. <laughs> oh. I'm your no, guy. I asked that when, gotcha. when it was gotcha. time for me to get mine. Can I take it from somebody else? Because I was like, I, I would rather. You did ask that. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. That becomes yeah. a lot of paperwork to do that. <laughs> right. Oh, really? You and then just, your body can still reject it, like giving a kidney away. Exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. Take right, my spare so, tire. Mm -hmm. So PRP can be used for so many things. I've actually done PRP for my bags under my eyes, but I was supposed to do three rounds and I only did one. And so I wouldn't say it was super effective. Mm -hmm. A lot of times PRP is done in threes. Right. Why and is that? So um, I, th I think what people have found and what I found personally just in taking care of people, when you do PRP, because it's not the big dog, it, it's growth factors. It's it's very powerful in its own right, but not as powerful as stem cells. So when you're doing PRP, you you need about three to get there. Mm. Sometimes for some people it will happen in one. Sometimes for some people it happens in two. But like I would find that I would get you know I get someone like seventy percent of the way with one. I get them like eighty five percent of the way with two. But when I did three, that's when it that know, was it like kinda, the magic. Yeah. So when you did mine, we did the stem cell and then we did the three PRP mm -hmm. in there and. It in fixed it. Yeah. yeah, it yeah. fixed. It took time. That's what, mm -hmm. It's not an instant. It doesn't. Not it's instant. not fixed in a week. It takes time. And when you do PRP, you are sore mm -hmm. because basically it tells your body you're injured, and it sends sends yeah. it all there to try to inflame it and make it right. heal. Right. Yeah. So this, um, it's going to attract other healing cells to that area. Uh, if we put like in you, if we put stem cells in that area, then the stem cells are going to do their thing, and they work by they kind of work like a hormone would, right? So they're going to they're going to produce things that are going to work on the cells and tell those cells like hey we need to we need to heal this we need to decrease the inflammation here we need to do a lot of things and so um that's how they work that's how their their business is So interesting like yeah. it can be done on tennis elbow it could be done on your hamstring is there anything actually you know what Kenny my PT he's like I really want you to look at doing stem stem cell on my knee Oh yeah Knees are the things that I take care of the most, the thing that also responds the best to what I do. Really? Yeah. It's, if I had a clinic full of knees, I'd be the happiest camper in the world just yeah. because they do so well. It is nice when you have results yeah. that are, you know what I mean? Everything does well, but some things take better, I'm sure, mm -hmm. like you said, the knee. Yeah. That, that, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. 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 So at some point, I'm going to come do it just for fun. That's a little bit yeah. more expensive than the NADs, I would say. <laughs> it, it is. It's, it's it like, is. Yeah. I mean, what is it, around $10,000 for... You know, it kind of, it kind of it runs the gamut, anywhere from two to three to ten uh, to upwards of that. Yeah. Well, depending on how much you have to do, and you have, yeah. I mean, mine I had to do lipo and all that yeah, kind of I, stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Then. I don't know how much in total your heel was worth, but that was worth it. I don't know how much it costs, oh, but it was it was worth it. Yeah. Worth every penny. You because could run again. You could I jump was again. In you could so much pain. With yeah, that. that yeah. Went, oh yeah. It was. I bad. mean, that was that was legitimate. Like magic, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and it was and, pretty and, cool. And for me, over the last, we've had this practice here in Nashville for it'll be seven years in May. Amazing! And every single time, I go, that really worked. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, like, it's like you to go, that worked. <laughs> it, and it's it's just it's so much fun. People get you know you get your life back and able to do things. That's really cool. You yeah, know, for someone like you, like that's your that's your livelihood. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. Yeah. Yeah, she I finally went back to making us money. <laughs> <laughs> I had gotten to where I could walk, but I only could walk on my toes. Mm -hmm. I couldn't put my heel down at all. Yeah. I remember it you was, jump roping because you could be on your toes. I right? could be on my yeah. toes if I I could not put my foot down. So like I couldn't go for a walk. Yeah. I could, but I could jump rope. Yeah, it did it, me. It really. Um, like I said, I'm just I'm a, I'm amazed every single time. Like that's so cool. Later. Is there anybody that's not a candidate or any injury that you're like that's not a candidate for stem cell or PRP? You know, there's it, there are definitely times when I when I would say to a patient like, "Ooh, I don't I don't know if this is going to work," 
And and I may and I always try to be super upfront and honest with them. But even in that, like even as I tell this story, there's, there's I remember this patient that he um, was in the army, was hazed, and he had these very nondescript places on his chest wall that that hurt. And I tried to tell him like I just don't think we should do this. MRI, we got an MRI of his chest wall, which you normally don't do. It looked fine. I was like, I just don't think this is going to work for you. But he was very adamant about having it done. We did it, and we did we did PRP for him, and felt great from it. And then, and from that, I learned that inflammation is the name of the game. Yeah, these things help with inflammation. Mm-hmm. And and some some sometimes when I think that oh, I don't know, like I'm I'm surprised. But there are definitely people that it it doesn't work. It doesn't work on everybody. Um, and. I try to do a very good job of kind of, ch- you know, choosing and seeing. Um, but, you know, the, at the end of the day, it doesn't really harm you, even if we do it for you. Yeah. Now, we may not get where we want to go. Right. And so, you know. I, I mean, I, I would assume when you say it doesn't work on everybody, mm-hmm. that it doesn't work perfectly. It that mor- there are, is some motion toward them getting better. Yeah, it doesn't work perfectly or or it doesn't work enough for them to really feel a sustained benefit yeah. from it. That, that, and that happens, you know. Okay, time time. so if somebody's like, man, my doctor says I need a knee replacement, do you think stem cell can help? Yeah. And really? the, you know and, it and can. That, and, that's, and, that's one of the, <laughs> and that's one of the ones that I quick. go all comers. Because in like nine out of ten people that walk in that door when it comes to knee pain and knee arthritis, we can help. That's incredible. They said my arthritis is like an 85-year-old woman. Mm-hmm. That's how bad it is. And you yeah. would think I should be in excruciating pain. I think the collagen's keeping the pain level down. Collagen will do that. Keeping motion to it, right? Always strength training the muscles strength around training, the knee. Keeping the inflammation in your body down. What? And also Why? not being overweight because every pound you're overweight is four pounds of pressure four on pounds. your knees. On your it's knees. incredible mm-hmm. how many times inflammation comes up in our daily Everything. talks. And name Everything. And you, but is. why? Why does our body keep that? Why is that the first thing our body does when it's injured that we immediately try to get rid of? Well, so inflammation is a very normal part There's of healing. It's acute yeah. in this. Yeah. But then when it continues, that's when it's a bad deal. And so our body just does How is it not learned? Or we just live in a society that we're not really in trouble of it hurting again. We just need the inflammation gone. As opposed to us not having houses or us not having, or like, the hunter-gatherer. I mean, is it going back that far when you needed the inflammation to stick around a little bit longer? It's, um, you know, that's a, that's a very good question. Um, we're just, there's so much... Yeah, give me your thoughts on Cro-Magnon early uh, humans. <laughs> <laughs> so there's so much inflammation from the things we eat mm. and the things we're exposed to. Environmental. Yeah, yeah we all, talk, all that's what things. I was talking about, yeah, chronic also, inflammation. Also the way in which we think, right? Um, and so it just gets to a point that it becomes chronic, um, and that's when, that's when bad things happen. Yeah. That's when we have pain. That's when. Unfortunately, the majority of us have a lot of inflammation in the body. Yeah. That is this our is society. Incredible. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it talking is. about it. But we are we are one step at a time changing that and educating people yeah. to just learn. It's basically living a healthier lifestyle. Overall, you're going to feel better. You're going to look better because when you're leaner, you have less pressure on your body. When you're walking around, you have less inflammation. You're not sick as often. You have more energy. It's mm-hmm. like a win-win. Yeah, it's, it's win all the way around. And then when you feel smaller and you feel good about yourself, your confidence is up. And guess what else is up? Your mood is up. Yeah. You're not as depressed. You're not as angry. You're not as, then you're not sending yourself through a complete stress level. A lot of times your yeah. stress level goes down when you feel better about yourself. Why is that? Why does your stress level go down when you have confidence? Um, so this, this is, this is a great question, right? Um, because it, it's all, so I, I equate it back to vibration and the way in which we think, and there are certain things that are very healthy for c- cells and then certain things that are not healthy for cells, right? And so when you get into that inflammatory, if you think poorly or you think badly, then, then it gets, you know, what we m- what we think about is what we get at times. And, and our whole body is um, subject to that. If we think poorly of ourselves, then we, our body is going to behave. Perform poorly and, and perform, behave. Yeah, is that okay. true? I, I believe that to be 100% true. <laughs> I've always heard, you always hear that. And you're like, oh, if you put bad thoughts and those are going to happen, you know, yeah. think good things and it will happen. Yeah. But I just thought that was kind of like a do this. and blah, But it's actually true. I think, I think that's very, very true. That's my yeah, high school student council uh, mentor 
told me to fake it until I make it. And then I've been faking it for <laughs> 25 years. And uh, like, is that it? To just and keep I, faking I, it? I, I, yeah. Well, I think at some point in time, it becomes a real... It, it, Not yet. It, 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 <laughs> it hasn't got real <laughs> yet. Okay. So at some point, but, I'm excited. I think yeah. it's going to be a good day. There you, there you go. But I, but, I, but I firmly believe that. Heck yeah. All right. So a positive mind can get you a long way. It's basically <laughs> that conversation. All right, Shacky, this has Shacky been has awesome. Ended the, ended the Shacky, come say hi to me. <laughs> Sit, buddy. But, man, I could sit here and talk to you forever. We could pick your brain because I have so many questions, but we're already at 40 minutes on this yeah, yeah. conversation. So we have to wrap it up, but maybe we have another one. Yeah, Who knows? Yeah. So there's, a, there's a million things we could talk about. And I hope you guys are finding him helpful because he's educated me. So much. I remember the first time I went in there and I was like, stem cell, I don't know anything about this. Oh, that was one question I had to ask. Stem cell, if you have a stem cell injection and say you put it in your knee, it doesn't help your knee. I've heard that stem cell can go help other parts of your body where there is an injury or it says your eye, your eyes are bad and we're going to help your vision. I actually had a client that did stem cell and they did it for their Parkinson's. It didn't help their Parkinson's, but fix their vision. Yeah, yeah. that happens. It hones... Stem cells have the ability to hone to an area that says, hey, I need some help. So even though you inject it in the knee and it says, wait, that's not where I want to go, or does it not work like that? Is it like you inject it here and it will go wherever it needs? It works needs. a little bit like that. It, it, it works. It gets to other places better if it's done IV versus if we put it locally in a place that it's gotcha. hard for it to escape. But I have had a patient that had a history of Lyme disease. She came in because her knee hurt, which is not necessarily uncommon for someone with Lyme. Because all their joints hurt. All their joints, exactly. We injected her joint in her symptoms. Now, she didn't know she had Lyme at the time. Oh. But her, but her, but all of her symptoms that she was having, along with that knee pain, got better. Oh, dang. And so I, my, my thought is that, yeah, some of those got out of the knee and helped just her constitutional symptoms of. So Lyme. basically, it healed the Lyme, and the Lyme was the reason for the knee. Um, yes, it may, yes. It it decrease those, yeah, decrease, decrease yeah. those symptoms. From I wouldn't the say Lyme. it healed the Lyme. I don't so know if, that, yeah, yeah. so do you believe that? Because that's a thing that people struggle with Lyme disease. Is there is oh, no healing really from right. it? Do you believe stem cells are a big one for that? I think stem cells are a big one for that. I, I think that um, detoxing is a big one for that. Oh, I've heard a lot about um, that, like mold detoxing kind of. Yeah. Um, I think that ozone's a big one for that. Ooh, I'm getting an ozone machine. I haven't told you. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. I'm getting an ozone machine. Yeah. I'm so excited. We it's a should home... discuss budgetary items. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. M- m- my That's w- why I work. My wife has Lyme disease, and she will tell you the oh, number one thing would be stem cell injections. Oh, I'm sorry. Really? Did yeah. you hear that? That yeah. sucks. Does she know how she got it? Um, so, yeah, she, that, she didn't get it a couple of times, but when she was in college. Okay. Oh, she's had it that long? Yeah. That's so, and it never goes away. It's it hard. You can, once again, you can decrease those symptoms, right, to, to feel yeah. better. But It's, it's kind of like it's your herpes. Tough. <laughs> you know. can decrease them, but they just keep coming back. Yeah, well, that means going. you got them too. <laughs> Sharing is caring. <laughs> All right, that's funny. We're gonna have you back. We're gonna talk some yeah, more. This we is could incredible. talk forever. Oh my gosh, there's so many amazing topics that we could go on and on and on because I really feel like it will change the way people think about their health. Yes. If we keep educating and keep educating, you guys, Invest I hope health, that yeah, you're finding great. these conversations interesting. Love if them. you have any questions for Dr. Kellum. Feel free to, where would be the best, this Instagram maybe DM you or? Yeah, Instagram works really well. We'll, awesome. put, his, we'll put his tag right underneath yeah. your, your Um, You your can DM right him. Now. If you want to get the NADs or any of the injections, feel free to DM me. I can send you a link or he can send you a link too. Um, and this has been amazing. If you guys have any other questions, put them in the comments below so we can maybe bring them back and answer all your questions. Yeah. Thanks for your time today. Yeah, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the conversation and we will talk soon. <laughs>